Hello all you crazy people out there, my name is Michael, I like wizards and dragons and making games, and it's that time of year again. Another Game Maker beta has come out, this is actually the first one in a few weeks, and it does not disappoint. There are a few different changes and additions in this uh, 2022.500.025 beta that uh, may be of interest to a number of people, and we're going to be getting into some of it today. So what you see in this video is currently only available in uh, the 2022.500.025 beta of Game Maker. As I said, if you do not have the beta version of Game Maker installed, uh, you might want to do that. You can go to the uh, basically this page, and it should download the uh, the installer for the current beta version of Game Maker for you. Otherwise, you can go into log into your YoYo Games account and download it from there. If you're watching this after about the end of uh, May of 2022, then this should all just be merged into the regular stable version of Game Maker, and you won't have to worry about the beta. One additional note of importance for this beta is that you might have to manually install the runtime. A few users, including me, have uh, reported that the um, the updated version of the runtime does not install with the IDE this time. So you might have to go into your preferences in Game Maker uh, over here, go to the runtime feeds, and manually install the uh, the latest version. But anyway, uh, let's get into instance creation parameters. So what I have on the screen right now, it's a bit of a prototypical bullet shooter, so I've got a little player guy who follows the mouse cursor around and shoots bullets in the forward direction. Uh, there's this, uh, this gray ship over here who just shoots bullets in a circle. There's no, like, gameplay here. Um, I can't actually get hit by any of these bullets or anything like that. And, uh, classically, the way that you would do this in Game Maker would be something like this. So you could either say var bullet equals instance create depth, such and such uh, x, y, and z coordinates, obj bullet, and then bullet.x speed equals this, bullet.y speed equals this. Uh, you could also, and this is a, uh, a bit of game maker syntax that seems to have fallen out of favor in the last few years, but you could also use the width statements to uh, change the scope of the code execution to that of the bullet that you just created, and say x speed equals this, y speed equals this. Uh, both of those things will work if I were to run the game now. You could, uh, you can still shoot bullets in front of you like this. Uh, nothing's changed. But with the most recent beta, uh, we now have a third way that we can do this. And this would be, instead of, um, instead of doing something outside the function, uh, instead of saving the instance ID of the instance that you just created and doing stuff to it, uh, we can add a fifth optional parameter to the instance create depth function. And this also works for the instance create layer function. Uh, are there other... Okay, so that's that's all. They did not at some point add a third inst instance create function. I don't know why I thought they did. Anyway, uh, the uh, the fifth optional parameter will just be a um, an anonymous struct, and that anonymous struct uh, will contain whatever values that you want to tack onto the instance that you just created. Uh, in my case, that can be x speed colon uh, a random horizontal speed value and y speed colon, uh, minus eight, because that is the, uh, the speed that we are working, um, horizontally with. So if I run the game now, this is going to still do what it did before, okay? So we can still shoot in front of us. Uh, this is the player's step event, by the way. I don't, okay, did I, uh, did I show that? I think I did. Anyway, this is all there really is. Uh, this is the, uh, I've been calling this in the last day or so since it came out, uh, parameterized instance create functions. Uh, it's mostly identical to the first two methods that I showed, the ones that you could do in Game Maker like before this. Uh, however, it has the distinction of the um, all all of the variables that are uh, passed to the create function in this struct. Uh, they will be assigned to uh, the instance before the create event runs, and that's uh, that's the player's create event. But the bullet's create event. These values will be assigned to the instance before the create event runs, but after the variable definitions are set up. Uh, which means that if you were to do something like initialize uh, x speed and y speed to zero in the create event instead of in a variable definition or some other such place, uh, then this these values would uh, override whatever was passed into the uh, instance create function. And as a result, when I click the mouse, uh, the bullets are just going to be created at my position. They're not going to move. Whereas this guy's bullets over here, uh, since the... Um, the enemy bullets are have their speed set after uh, the instance is created. After the create event runs, they will continue to fly off as they 
um, as they're supposed to. On the flip side, uh, you can use this. You can use this to uh, to parameterize the create event. You can sort of use this to pass any additional arguments to the uh, to the create event. This is actually something that people have been asking for in GameMaker for years: is the ability to parameterize the create event like this. Uh, if we were to show, if you were to print out the value of x speed and y speed in the uh, in the bullet's create event like this, then you would see that when a bullet is created. Um, for the uh, for the enemy over here, it's just zero zero because that's what it is. That's what it is initialized to in the um, in the variable definitions window down here. Uh, but for me, when I shoot something, then we can see that uh, in the create event, the x speed and y speed values are already uh, already defined as whatever I told them to be defined as. And this allows you to use instance create events a lot more like uh, struct constructors, which have the ability to take any uh, any old arguments that you want to give them, rather than just the like the initialization code where the only variables that you really have access to are uh, x, y, depth, and whatever you um, whatever you defined in the variable definitions window down here. All right, so that's a small change, uh, but it it could potentially be important whether that's because you actually want to parameterize the parameterize the create event, or just because maybe you think it's a, uh, you think the code looks better like this. Uh, I know that someone's going to ask this eventually. The uh, performance-wise, it's it's the same. And when I of course say they're the same, I I don't mean that they're the exact same number of virtual machine instructions. I mean that if you want to actually finish working on your game, you really need to not worry about micro optimizations like this. So um, there's not much more to it. If you want, you can go over into OBJ Fo, which is over here. I already had it opened and do the exact same thing. Um, there's not a whole lot to this. Uh, we can just go uh, add a fifth parameter, create an anonymous struct, and uh, instead of using a semicolon at the end of lines and the equal sign, we need to do this uh, JSON style with the uh, with the colons and the commas and all that. And we can see that the enemy ship is going to be uh, sh shooting at bullets in a spiral as, as it was before. Um, again, there's not much more to it. If you want to see a little bit more of this in action, I am, as it happens on the side, working on a bullet shooter game. And probably in a few weeks, probably around when this feature hits the stable version of Game Maker, I will at least look into uh, changing some instance creation code to use like this, this new system. Um, I do think it looks it looks cleaner than just tacking on variables to things uh, as uh, as I had before. Uh, bullet x speed equals whatever. Bullet y speed equals whatever. And I didn't show this in this video, but this does also work for methods. So if you have a method that's like I don't know, um, scream. Uh, like this. Um, if you have a method attached to one of the um, the members of the anonymous struct that you pass to the instance create depth function or instance create layer function, uh, they will also be appropriately um, assigned to the uh, to the instance that's created. Uh, so if I were to say var bullet equals this bullet dot scream, then we will see that the uh, when the instance is created, uh, we uh, we're doing some screaming in the console down here, right? I don't really have a, a practical use for this in this little demo that I whipped it this morning, but uh, just know that you can do it if you want to. And I think that's everything. So, uh, my name is Michael. I like wizards and dragons and making games. I like to post videos on the weirder things you can do in Game Maker, including but not limited to 3D things and, uh, and shader magic. I also like talking about like the, the new things that appear in the betas, as I'm doing right now. So if you're interested in any of that, feel free to subscribe. I try to post about two game dev videos a week. I have a Patreon, so if you want to contribute towards any of these being made, I will have links to that in all the usual places. You can see some fun things like your name in the credits or your verbal shout out of, your, of yourself at the end of every video. And if you wanted to pledge, I would definitely appreciate it. Otherwise, I hope you all found this useful, and I will see you all later. Special thanks to Zenjamin, Then Nothing Happens, Square Crow, Sindra Larson, Posho, Gunnar Clovis, Game Maker, Edward Holt, DJ Gibbles and Army Armbruster for supporting these videos. If you want to see your name in the credits or hear yourself shouted out at the end like this, head on over to the Patreon page down in the video description to join the fun.